So, when you start the app, you arrive to something that looks like this mesh generation with marching cube. And what I do is I will take a small point cloud. For now, I limit it to very small point cloud for you to experiment, but also to find how to improve it. And essentially, you just load the point cloud. And let's look at how it is. Um, you may recognize, maybe from the structure, a point cloud that we turned into a complete voxel mesh before. This is what I wanted to show also for you to be able to compare the strategies. This second stage here is essentially to compute the optimal parameter for using the marching cube approach. And if I open up my console, you can see here that I have a mean nearest neighbor distance of around 5 cm and I will take a voxel size that is about 2.85% this ratio. We could adjust it, I deactivated it uh, for you here, but if you look at the Python code you will see that you can switch that. Okay, so let's move on to the stage 3 which is generating the 3D map. And as you can see, it may take some time depending on how big it is your point cloud uh, to have an ID, this is around 5 megabytes and it will take around 20 seconds. Uh, again, I did on purpose not optimize how I pass the mesh and the strategy. Um, this is something that we do as part of the course line. But yeah, essentially, this is how it looks like. So it's pretty cool because this is fully automatic and you can retrieve more or less this morphological uh, tree kind of structure that is kind of nice and has a, a specific flair to it. So <laughs> I, I like that. The next stage that is logical is, okay, we have a point cloud with colors, let's transfer that to the point cloud. And how to do that? Just picking the color and making that as a texture onto our mesh. And this is what we have. And once you are happy with it, you can just save it. It will export a PLY with colors and you can use that in Blender or externally. So how to use this app? 